Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. I'm a product photographer and my specialty is jewelry and shoes. So I spent whole my life with the shoes and I love shoes. Okay, so when you have passion for a product, then you put all your love and care with the product. So, for me, this is a beautiful piece. And I shot like this, I can show you the info. I use my camera 1D Smart 3 and with 2470 lens. And why 2470 lens? Because I wanted the sharpness from here to here, the same thing. So, it should not be blurred when you are focusing here or focusing there so you just manage sharpness with everywhere anyway so we have to edit this shoe and it should be high end because we are going to use it in advertising posters catalog so this is not a shoe for e-commerce okay so how to start first thing is create a clipping path we have to remove it, remove the background of this shoe. Okay, then take my tool. When you're creating clipping path, don't try to make it a straight line, a straight line, a straight line, just to avoid something making faster so this is not job for fast editing you have to be patient you have to work hard because your few minutes or maybe one hour is not much because something company is going to spend a lot of money in advertising, if the product is not right, then there is no worth. So the people who spend less, or they try to save few cents or few hundred rupees, they pay in the result because it takes a lot of time. People have wrong impression that a product photographer just click a photo and makes money. But they don't realize that the product photographer put a lot of energy and a lot of investment in equipment and a lot of your experience and they don't get well paid off also. So I'm, I just wonder when people are spending a lot of money in advertising, so why not paying to product photographer? These days people can buy any camera easily and they can edit on the Photoshop and they can make living but there is another side of the story is that if a product is not correctly shot or correctly edited then how company will be benefited
think about it because your sale depends on the good quality photograph if you want to save money save somewhere else not in the photograph you are editing and this is the reason why i'm making videos just to show people that it is not that easy what they think Before Photoshop, they were the retouching artist, the spray artist. They were making product very beautiful using all the techniques and the same techniques Photoshop adopted from these artists. Unfortunately, these artists lost their job. But I've seen those times, I've seen those artists, they were putting a lot of energy in making one image. Advertising agencies, they understand these things. They sacrifice their lot of time and they spend a lot of money in their studios and their art directors and artists. And these artists definitely create amazing images. So these agencies they can compensate this kind of efforts of creating images in their releases for printing and this is the secret <clears throat> that it takes a lot of time when a company try to create same kind of images with their small kind artist or photographer or they try to save money and they don't get the same result This clipping path is ready. So we have two options to create to activate this clipping path. One is for product and another is for advertising. For advertising we need feather and just for product we don't need any kind of feather because we just want clear lines. So I'll make clear lines. I'm not going to put feather if you are using it for 
superimposition on anything then just fill 1 or 0 0.5 feather otherwise leave it like this 0 ok press ctrl enter then ctrl j make a copy of this so this is the cutout you can make png file now go to save save as and here you make png file just to get a transparent background for internet also png file is good but here we are not making any png file we are just going to edit so we will put a white background behind the press shift tab 5 and now we have white background save this file first this is hero because I shoot hero shoes okay here PSD file now you will see something which you won't believe you don't find any fault here but I will show you a lot of faults how come here see this the threads so we have to finish this first how to do that we can use clone tool create a new layer on layer selected and remove this So all the thread marks, if you find anywhere, all the remove, because during making the shoes, they cut, sometimes they cut roughly, here, select layer 1, and take a spot healing brush, and remove this. this portion take a stamp tool clone tool some people wonder why to just uh, do it to this kind of finish for a shoe but I just tell you a small a small faults make a dirty shoe for you it can be a good shoe for me is a dirty because if it is not properly edited you need to remove all these kind of faults When you love a product, then you won't like this kind of things. When you love jewelry, then you try to make very good quality because it is expensive. But for me, 
any product is a jewelry because it sells and company earns money I'm sure even I finish 100%, even that there will be many faults. You must be noticing those I might not notice. Because what happens when we are editing, we leave something, we try to remove, but sometimes we just don't notice. And afterwards, we just feel sad by this too. Left this. So happy, but I'm not. But I'm not, and I'll show you why. Let's go. Now we have to see the it's more marks here. How to remove, stick, clone tool, and remove this. There will be a lot of gum mark, paste mark. We have to finish those marks also. I am not trying to remove this thing because these are the natural fiber. But something coming out too much or paste mark that we will have to remove. Here you see this kind of mark. I take whole day to finish the shoe. Let's see here. You will notice a lot of gum marks. Here. Merge all these layers.
so this way we can edit now after this make copy of this then I'm not using surface blur because I don't want to hide any texture from anywhere. All the material has its own texture, which should not hide, just increase the sharpness. Not too much sharpness because if you increase too much sharpness, then it looks like this. But it should be natural kind of thing, not too much sharpness. Okay, two is enough. And hundred. And now see the levels. We can correct here. After this, shadow. Go to layer 2, take brush tool, opposite 100. And now, what kind of shadow you want? Just below the shoe, you can do that. Like this. Another is here. Hundred is opacity, so that it will it is floating now. Crop this. Okay, thank you so much.